Thank you for joining me. Let's start with some hip circles, hands just resting on the hips, moving in a small circle or a big circle, see how it feels, changing direction. And then try a figure of eight, so circling around each foot, let your hips sway to the side and then changing direction. And then just coming to be centered over the feet, let's roll the shoulders, nice big circles. And changing direction. Bring the fingers up onto the outside of the shoulders and drawing circles. Now, as the elbows come up, looking up, as the elbows come down, looking down. So bring the movement into the neck. And then change direction. This time, as the elbows come forward, let the head come down, bend the knees a little bit. Lift the elbows, look up, bend the knees as you come forward. Let the head be heavy. One more time. And then let's take the arms out to the side. It's about shoulder height. You can have a look where they are. I'm going to turn the palms up towards the ceiling and then as far forwards as you can. So moving from the shoulders. And we're going to do one arm moving in the opposite direction to the other. So if you turn your left palm up and then swap them over. And you might want to take your feet a bit wider because whichever palm is on top, we're going to lean in that direction, swap the arms over, lean in the other direction. So you get a little bit of a stretch through the side of the body. Waking up the sides of the body. Lovely, and relax the arms down. Let's interlace the fingers, turning the palms away. Again, have a bit of bend in the knees. I'm going to push the hands forwards, head heavy, looking down towards your baby. And then take the hands up towards the ceiling, really lengthening, standing tall. Then bend the knees, push the hands out in front of the chest, drop the head, look towards your baby. So you're rounding your back, taking the shoulder blades away from each other. Let's come up again, pushing up through the hands, squeeze the elbows together. And then last time, bending the knees, rounding the back, looking down towards your baby. And then relax the arms down. And if you're earlier in the pregnancy, you can lift the foot off the floor and do a circle with the knee. As the pregnancy goes on, that might feel too much across the pelvis and into the hips. So you can always just keep the toes on the ground, lift the heel up. And we're gonna make a circle. So it helps to have a bend in the knee of the leg that you're standing on. So you can either have the toes on the ground, heel lifted, or you can do a different kind of movement, you choose. Change direction. So whether it's with the foot on the ground, moving the hips, or you feel like moving the knee, foot off the floor. And then let's swap legs. So if you're earlier in the pregnancy, feel really balanced, you can lift your knee up. Otherwise, toes and the ball of the foot stays on the ground. Bend the knee you're standing on, circling the hips. So it might be a really tiny circle, or it can be a big circle. It's really up to you. Let's change direction. Brilliant. And then if we turn our feet out to about 45 degrees, I'm going to bend my knees, have a look, and your knees should follow the same direction that your toes are pointing in. Bring your hands onto your thighs. I'm going to do a standing version of the cat. So I'm going to look up, lifting the head, and then looking down towards your baby, you should find that your back is rounded. So let's look up again towards the ceiling, pelvis tilts forwards, and then look down towards your baby, rounding the back, pelvis tilts backwards. Next time, as you lift your head, arcing the back, lift your tailbone behind you. Imagine you've got a big bushy tail, and then rounding the back. Let's do it one more time, looking up, pelvis comes forwards, keep the bend in the knees, then rounding the back as you look down towards your baby, and then coming up. So let's rest the hands onto the hips. I'm gonna bring my feet to parallel. So you can have the hip width apart or a little bit wider, but toes pointing forwards. Have a look down and check. So this time our knees are going to point forwards like our toes. So we're going to come into a squat. 
As your pregnancy goes on, it might be that your bump rests onto your thighs, you can't go any further. That's okay. Let's bring the arms in. We're going to reach up in front. Big breath in to return. If it's too much to lift your arms, you can always keep the hands on the hips. Let's do that one more time. Perfect. And then turning the feet out again to 45 degree angle. So again, the knees are going to go out to the sides. Let's come into the squat, bottom back, then bend into the knees. So it's up to you how deep you go. You can stay quite high, or you might be able to go deeper. I want you to feel what is good for you. Let's bring the arms in as well. So we're going to reach up in front, sitting back. If it's too much to lift the arms up, keep the hands on the hips. We're going to do it one more time. Brilliant. And then taking the arms up. So imagine you've got a big beach ball, a bit of bend in the knees. We're going to go from side to side. So waking up the sides of the body. And then we can take it round in a circle. So that big beach ball going all the way round. As you look up, really try and lift up through the chest. Bottom can go back as you come forwards. Lifting up, straightening the legs, tall, and then bending the knees, bottom back. So we're trying to work into different muscles at the back here. Let's change direction. Try and keep the hands wider than the shoulders. One more time. And then relax the arms down, give the arms a little shake out. So from here, I'm going to step my left foot forwards and my right foot back. Now, if it's earlier in pregnancy, you might take your feet further apart. If you have late pregnancy, um, or if you've got any pelvic or hip pain, keep the distance between the feet quite short. Rather than having one foot behind the other, I've got a gap side to side, so I'm really stable with baby on board. Let's bend into the front knee, back leg is straight, heel down on the ground. I'm going to bring the palms together. Let's reach up, taking the arms out in a big circle. Hands back together. Breathing in and out. Okay, let's take the hands onto the hips. I'm going to put a bend in the back knee. So I've got a bend in the front knee and a bend in the back knee, heel lifted off the ground. I'm going to dip down into a little lunge. If it doesn't feel good because you've got a pelvic pain, hip pain, keep both feet next to each other instead and bend into a squat again. But otherwise, bending both knees. One more time. If you've got the feet apart, front to back, you're going to shift the weight back a little bit into that back foot, feel the buttock working, feeling that back leg working harder. I'm going to take two breaths here, big breath in and out. One more time, big breath in. Shift the weight forwards, step that foot forwards, little steps. Let's do the same on the other side. So I've got my right foot stepping forwards, toes pointing forwards. Left foot a little to the side turned out. So bend in the front knee, hands together, breathing in, and then circling the arms out wide. Gorgeous, breathing in, looking up, out to the side. Legs strong, one more time. And then hands resting onto the hips. Still got my bend in the front knee, put a bend in the back knee as well, heel lifting off the ground. I'm going to dip down for a little lunge. Might be two centimetres, might be deeper. Remember, if you've got hip or pelvic pain and this doesn't feel good, don't do it. Come back to both feet being parallel and come into a squat instead. Okay, two more of those. Doing brilliantly. And I'm going to shift the weight into that back foot so you feel that back leg working harder. If it doesn't feel good, stay with the weight even across both feet or have a rest. I'm going to take two more breaths, big breath in, and again. So 
We're trying to work with a strong sensation. Let's bring the feet back together. We're going to take the left foot forwards again and the right foot back. Have a gap from side to side. And again, you can have a short stance if you need it. Let's take the arms out in front, palms together. And I'm going to take my right hand out to the side, looking back and then returning. Your hips and pelvis can move as well. So the front arm stays still. Let's do that again. And then all the way around, 360 degrees, same arm, all the way around, back to the starting point. So it's not just the arm moving, the whole body is actually responding. Brilliant, let the arms relax, little steps bring the feet back together. Right foot forwards, left foot back, put a bend in the front knee, and palms together, opening out to the left side, and returning. So you can let your hips move as well. Keep the breath flowing in and out, try not to hold the breath. And then all the way around, 360 degrees, looking back if you can. Last one. And then little steps, bring the feet back together. Let's bring hands to your bum. Feet a little bit wider apart. Let's go back to a circle where we started. If you feel balanced, you can close your eyes for a moment. Just taking a moment to connect with this baby. Changing direction, circling the other way. Let's take two more big breaths, breathing in and out. And then if your eyes aren't open, opening your eyes, let's bring the palms together. Thank you for joining me. I hope you feel ready for whatever is coming next.